Omelos Philathlon Iraklia, is a Greek association football club based in Heraklion, on the island of Crete. Outside Greece, the club is generally known as OFI Crete, however, the name Crete is not actually part of the club's official title. OFI is the club with most appearances in the Greek first division among clubs of the Greek province. The club has had noticeable success to date, particularly considering its comparative status, and has won one Greek Cup and one Balkans Cup, while they have competed seven times in UEFA competitions. At the end of the 2008 Euro 09 season, OFI was relegated to Beta Ethniki, thus ending a notable 33 year run in the Greek top division. In the 2010 Euro 11 season, they were promoted back to the top flight. History Equals the foundation equals, the club was founded during the autumn of 1925 by a group of athletes that used to exercise in a specific gym in the city of Heraklion. The official name given to the sports club was Omelos Philathlon Iraklia. The colors that OFI used were black and white, because none of the existing sports clubs had the same color combination in Crete. The scope of the sport club, as had been written down in the first deed of association, was to participate in all kinds of events, and exhibitions related to athletics. During the first period of OFI Euro unregistered trademark s existence most of the team's founders were also members. Equals the years before World War II equals, the years preceding World War II were a very difficult period not only for Crete, but for Greece in general. Thus, it was extremely difficult for OFI to travel and participate in national football tournaments. As a result, OFI was limited to matches around the island of Crete and particularly with other football clubs based in Heraklion. Strangely enough, these local matches were more frequent in comparison to the official ones of former periods. Even though official documentation does not exist, elderly fans of OFI believe that the team played around 400 matches before the Germans finally occupied Crete. Equals first participation in the National League equals after the German occupation of Greece had ended, football tournaments around the country started again. At this time there was only the first division championship, in which standard football teams from Athens and Thessaloniki participated, including a few teams which qualified through preliminary rounds. However, it was almost impossible for a team coming from the province to take part in it. This situation arose because the Hellenic Football Federation structured a system in which football teams from around the country had to play many preliminary rounds before proceeding to the national championship. As a result, even though OFI was the top football team in Crete, they could not take part in the national tournament. After 1956, the system in Greece changed slightly. Advantages were that in some seasons the preliminary rounds were organized in groups of a few teams where the champions of each group were promoted directly to the championship of the same Ciasona Euro unregistered trademark S First Division. One of those seasons was in 1957 a Euro 58. OFI played preliminary games in a group of four teams, where they finished in first place. Thus, OFI, for the first time in its history, participated in the Greek national championship. However, the team could not stand the frequent trips around Greece and finished in last position. Up to 1962, when the official second division championship was organized, OFI tried again many times, but unsuccessfully, to take part in the competition of the first division again. Equals attempts in the official second league equals. In 1962 Euro 63 the official Greek second division league was set up for first time. OFI was one of the teams that participated in the league and completed the season in ninth position. In 1963 a Euro 64 and 1964 a Euro 65 OFI finished in third and fifth position respectively. In 1965 a Euro 66 OFI were the champions of the second division of Greek football and only one step away from promotion to the official first national division of Greek football. Yet. The Hellenic Football Federation decided that even the champions of the second division had to play preliminary games in order to be promoted. OFI lost in the playoff matches and remained in the second division. In 1966 Euro 67 the disappointment was huge, even though OFI ended in third position. 
everyone on the island of Crete was feeling that the moment where they could see the pride of their island in the top league was very close. In 1967 the Euro 68 OFI finished in second position and went into playoff games with the bottom team of the first division. The final match of the playoffs was to take place in the city of Chania, on June 26, 1968. OFI with the help of 10,000 Cretans thrashed the team from the first division with a 3 Euro 0 win and made the dreams of thousands of supporters come true. OFI was an official member of the first national division. Equals debut in the first league equals, OFI's debut in the national first division was very difficult. Omelos ended the first round in 15th position. It was a very difficult task to remain in the league. However, in the second round the Cretans played magnificently and finally finished in 12th place. In the next season OFI had already gained the experience of playing in the top league of Greek football. The Snakes finished in 13th place, but the strange thing was that OFI remained unbeaten in almost all of their home games in Heraklion. Only two teams managed to survive and leave Crete with an away win. Thus, even if OFI was not a feared opponent, all the other teams were anxious when taking the trip to the island of Crete. 1970 Euro 71 was the worst season the team from Heraklion ever had in the first division. OFI ended in 17th position and was relegated for the last time in their history to the second division. The whole season was a tragedy for the Cretans. OFI had to meet old friends from the second division again and start battling again in order to be promoted for a second time equals back to the second league equals, OFI had been relegated again, but this time the second division had changed entirely. After all, the championship had been more officially organized and opponents were tougher than before. OFI spent another five seasons in the second division, from 1971 a Euro 72 to 1975 a Euro 76. During the first season, the team was continually in first place. However, at the end of the season, OFI's good performances deteriorated and they finally finished fourth. In 1972 a Euro 73 the management decided on a complete overhaul of the squad. In these circumstances, the 13th position OFI achieved was predictable, yet a new era of the stars of OFI had just begun. In the next season OFI finished sixth and in 1974 a Euro 75 they finished fifth. In the next season the league was divided again into two groups, each of 20 teams. The champions of each group would be promoted directly to the first national division. OFI couldn't a Euro unregistered trademark T afford to miss this chance. Everything started perfectly for Omelos in 1975 a Euro 76. They finished first at the end of the first round with a huge lead over the runners-up and then finished the season as champions. The whole island of Crete was celebrating the promotion of OFI to the first division. Up to the present OFI have never been relegated again. Equals the years before the arrival of Eugenie Gerards equals, during the first three seasons of OFI's presence in the first division, the Greek championship still had an amateur status. In 1976 a Euro 77, even though OFI were rookies, they finished in sixth place and gained the admiration of the whole country. In addition Dimitris Papadopoulos finished the top goal scorer of the league season. The following two seasons OFI finished 8th and 7th respectively, a period in which OFI was never once defeated in Crete. Even the heavyweights of the league struggled to win any points when making the trip to the Genti Coulon island of Crete. The championship in Greece was professionalized for the 1979 Euro 80 season and in the middle of that term the Vardinogianis group bought the football club of OFI. During that season the only team that beat OFI at home in Crete was Panathinaikos. The Athenian team took the victory in Heraklion extremely easily with a scoreline of 0 a Euro 3. It was the only loss endured by Cretans on the island that year. After all games had been completed OFI finished in 11th position. The next season Panathinaikos embarked on their first set of experiments on OFI. Young players came from all over the country in order to play for Omelos. Partly because of this experimentation by their new owners OFI only managed 13th position in the league. 
the 1981 Euro 82 campaign saw OFI finish in ninth place and the following 1982 Euro 83 season in seventh. It seemed clear that the Odoros Bardinogianis wanted OFI to be a stronger team in the championship. He tried to achieve that, not by spending money for good players, but by sending second-hand players from his other team Panathinaikos or young players that could possibly be useful to OFI, but primarily, for Panathinaikos in the future when the time was right. Thus, in 1983 Euro 84, three goalkeepers, one midfielder and one defender came from the Athenian team to Crete. The continuing experimentation caused OFI to be disappointed yet again. OFI finished in eighth place, exactly the same position they finished next season too. Although OFI's results were not wonderful, this group of fresh players had gained experience and started to play like a team. The one thing that was missing was a good coach, who could get the best out of each player. This man arrived the following season. Equals the Gerards years equals. Eugenie Gerard stayed in Crete as coach of OFI for a legendary 15 years. This is still the record tenure for a coach in the Greek league, and will be a feat that lives long in the memory of Cretans. Gerard's first three years at the helm in Crete were nothing short of amazing. Indiana, 1985-86 OFI finished second in the league and only missed out on becoming champions by five points. Gerards continued his revolution with a third place finish in 1986 a Euro 87 and fourth place in 1987 a Euro 88. As Gerards OFI continued to achieve high finishes in the Greek Championship the team from Crete did something wonderful June 21, 1987. In the Olympic Stadium in Athens they defeated Ereklis 3 a Euro 1 on penalties winning the Greek Cup. The game had finished 1 a Euro 1 after regular and extra time. With string league position and victorious in the Cup OFI was at that time one of the major players in Greek football. The 1987 Euro 88 season was special for Cretans for another reason too Euro it was the first time in league history that OFI finished in a higher position than Panathinaikos, beating them to a Euro 1 in Heraklion in the way, with a goal in last minute from Stefanos Vavoulas. This golden era also saw OFI participate in European competition a Euro UEFA Cup 1986 and UEFA Cup Winners Cup 1987. The following seasons were not quite as spectacular as what had gone before. OFI finished 6th, 7th and 6th respectively, missing UEFA Cup qualification by a few points each year. In June 1990 OFI played once again in the final of the Greek Cup this time against Olimiakos. The game took place in Olimiakos' home stadium and OFI lost for a Euro 2. In June 1991 OFI played in the final of the Pre-Mediterranean Cup, against AEK Athens. The game took place in Georgios Kamaras Stadium and OFI lost 1 a Euro 0. During the last of those three seasons, OFI brought a young Argentinian star to Crete a Euro victory Hugo Delgado. However, there was little time for Cretans to enjoy the benefits of his talent as he was soon transferred to Panathinaikos. In the 1992 Euro 93 campaign OFI was in great form once again. OFI finished fourth in the championship and qualified for the following season's UEFA Cup tournament. The season's great star for OFI was Nikos Nioplias. At the end of the previous season the Vardinogianis family decided that he might become useful to Panathinaikos, so he became the third player to move to Athens from OFI. Without the team's great star, OFI only managed a seventh-place finish in the 1993 Euro 94 championship. But despite those facts the name of OFI was heard loud and clear all around Europe. That season OFI achieved the unthinkable Euro they eliminated Slavia Prague in the first round of the UEFA Cup and Atla copyright Tico Madrid in the second round. Nobody in Europe could believe that an unknown quantity like OFI could ever knock out of Europe such illustrious opposition. The famous cup run came to an end when OFI was eliminated in the third round by Portuguese club Boa Vista. Despite the disappointment there was pride for Cretans to be taken in that their team was the most successful Greek team in European competition that season. In 1994 a Euro 95, Panathinaikos were in dire need of a striker, 
and OFI had two top-rated strikers from the previous season, Nikos Michlas and Alexis Alexchaudis. Even though Panathinaikos wanted Michlas, he himself refused to go to Athens, and as a result, Panathinaikos grabbed Alexchaudis. OFI ended in the ninth position this year. In the next season, Eugeni Gerards tried to build a new team with young players. Yet the Dutchman had lost two great players to Panathinaikos and Nikos Michlas was transferred to Vitus Arnhem. OFI finished fifth and missed qualification for the UEFA Cup in the last game of the season. 1996 Euro 97 was an amazing season for Omelos. With the participation of Nikos Nioclias, OFI was on second place before the winter break and four of their players were part of the Greek national team. On the last day of the transfer period, Panathinaikos grabbed Kostas Konstantinidis, the best defender of OFI's squad. Finally OFI finished third in the championship by humiliating Panathinaikos one week before the end and leaving the team from Athens in fifth place, outside the positions leading to UEFA competitions. The whole island of Crete was again celebrating the great performance of OFI. In the next two seasons, OFI finished in 7th and 8th position respectively, suffering constant humiliations by Panathinaikos in matches between the two, as revenge for what happened in May 1997. In addition to that, Kostas Kiasos, a great OFI midfielder, was the next victim and was transferred to Panathinaikos. Nevertheless, OFI resumed their successful UEFA Cup campaigns. The Pride of Crete eliminated Icelandic team KR Reykjavik in the second qualifying round and Hungarian team from Kvaras in the first round proper, for a Euro 2 on aggregate, with an unforgettable 3 a Euro 0 victory in Crete. OFI's European dream was ended by AJ Oxera in the second round of the UEFA Cup. In the year 2000 and after 15 successful years, Eugeni Gerards announced his retirement from OFI's bench as the team finished fourth in the championship. It was the last time that OFI gained a position that lead to European competitions, and the last season that OFI was considered one of the top teams in Greece. Equals the new era equals, the new century found OFI unstable and close to relegation almost every year. While Nioplias and Michles retired, the team partly suffered from a series of bad rosters and managers. In 2001 OFI really struggled to remain to the first league. The next two years, OFI managed to play a little better, thus avoiding low positions easier. But then the dark years came, OFI avoided relegation every year, for one or two points difference. President Fanaris Vatsinos appointed German Rainer Mora as a coach in the summer of 2006. Mora had the team playing greater football, even competing for a European place since the Gerards era. In the 2007 summer, OFI played in the Intertoto Cup but underperformed. The 2007 Euro 08 season found the club fighting to avoid relegation once again, and Mora was sacked. Giogos Parascios was brought as a temporary manager, and he was eventually replaced by Czech, Francia ex Straka before the start of the new season. In 2009 OFI suffered from the bad presidency of Fanaris Vatsinas, who was asked by the fans to leave the club. Furthermore, Former player Michles offered a great amount of money in order to purchase the team. OFI started with awful results, Straka was dismissed and Ioannis Matsurikis came to fill his position. During the 2008 Euro 09 season, OFI struggled to remain to the Greek Super League, but failed and is in fact relegated to the second division after finishing 16th. Since relegation OFI has gone into meltdown. Once the season had ended the majority of the club's senior players filed claims against club president Fanaris Vatsinas for hundreds of thousands of euros in unpaid wages. As the non-payment of wages was also a breach of contract many of them also freed themselves from their professional contracts with the club and sought new teams for the forthcoming season. Club president Vatsinas resigned. Rivalries equals Rivalry with Ergotlis equals OFI has enjoyed a fierce rivalry with other local Super League side, Ergotlis. The first ever game between Ergotlis and OFI, a friendly match in 1929, ended after 35 minutes. Ergotlis were ahead by one goal, 
when the game had to be abandoned after violence between the players broke out. Under the Greek military junta of 1967 Euro 1974, a legislation determined that every regional Greek city should be represented by one football team. At that time, both OFI and Ergotlis used to play in the second national division. At the end of the 1966 Euro 1967 season, Ergotlis finished eighth, while OFI finished in a higher position, leading to Ergotlis relegation. The legislation also allowed the remaining teams in the second division to sign players of the relegated ones, and thus five Ergotlis players were transferred to OFI. In the years to come Ergotlis languished in the lower leagues. This led to various controversies, especially since Ergotlis come back, at the early 2000s. This rivalry has shown signs of diminishing over the years, with OFI fans attending newly promoted Ergotlis games in the Super League during the club's first season in the competition, and Ergotlis loaning their longtime scoring legend Patrick Ogun Soto to a financially weakened beta ethnic side OFI for no fee as an attempt to assist the latter in their struggle to once again return to the Super League. Current squad, as of January 19, 2015. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Club officials. Equals board of directors equals, President, Antipas Safakis, Vice President, Giannis Polymarxakis, Director of Football, Giogos Blastos. Equals Coaching and Medical Staff equals, General Manager, Giannis Polymarxakis, Manager, Murat Seropian, Assistant Manager, Vacant, Goalkeeping Coach, Vacant, Club Doctor, Vacant, Club Doctor, Vacant, Physiotherapist, Vacant, Physiotherapist, Vacant, Fitness Coach, Vacant, Conditioning Coach, Vacant, Chief Scout. Eugeny Gerards, Director of Youth Academy, Eugeny Gerards. Titles and Honours, Alpha Ethniki, Runners Up, 1985-86. Greek Cup, Winners, 1986-87, Runners Up, 1989-90. Greek Super Cup, Runners Up, 1987. Balkans Cup, Winners, 1989. All the European Games. Notable players. Managerial history. Statistics. Equals most appearances equals. References. External links. Official websites. OFIFC official website. Stadia. OFI Crete Ground. Theodore Rose Vardenogiannis Stadium.